Hello friends and welcome back to Why is Gurugul. Today in this video we'll be discussing about the latest edition of CBSE, the CBSE Term 1 OMR answer sheet. The rules of filling it and what all the criteria is that you have to keep in your mind when you are attending the CBSE Term 1 examination. So before we start the detailed analysis of this OMR answer sheet, if you are new to our channel, please subscribe to our channel and watch this video till the end. And here we go without wasting much time let's begin the analysis of the latest CBSC OMR answer sheet for term 1 examination as you all know that CBSC had already informed that this year the academic year will be divided into two terms and after term 1 there will be an MCQ examination and for that MCQ examination CBSC had introduced this latest OMR simple answer sheet and in this circular the most important thing that we have to keep in your mind that you are only supposed to use blue or black ballpoint pen that means you are not permitted to use pencils and this is a very very important instruction from cbse's side that the students are not supposed to use pencils or and on the top of this omr answer sheet you can see there is a square area over here where you have to enter the roll number in digits as well as in words and then the day and date of the examination then the sender name and the number then the subject code and name and the uh, candidate's name the father's name of the candidate the school code and the name and on the right hand side you can see here there is a space where there will be the oima number and there are some columns where you have to write the question paper code and on this particular part you can see the examples of wrong or correct ways of marking then the most important thing that you have to remember is that uh, there should be the facsimile stamp of the sender superintendent on this particular portion but don't worry when you see this i must sheet you may get a feeling that there are a lot of points that you have to cover there are a lot of areas that you have to fill but cbsc had taken care of all this so there is a good news for all the students you will be getting a pre-filled omr answer sheet and this one that you see on the screen right now is only a sample and the pre-filled omr answer sheet may look like this so i'll show you the blank one once again and this is the blank one may look like but when you go for your exams you will be getting a pre-filled omr answer sheet like this so your job is somewhat much easy so what all things that you have to keep in your mind when you are going to write the exam okay let's begin you have to check the given details here for example here you can see the roll number you will have an individual roll number you need to verify the omr answer sheet consist of your roll number and then we have the roll number in words over here on this particular area and then comes the day and the date of the examination make sure that you get the right date printed over here then we have the sender number and the name on this particular column remember all these will be pre-filled in your omr answer sheet so there is as a student there is no need for you to fill anything over in this particular area of the omr answer sheet then comes the subject code and the name here you can see 301 english code this is for class 12 and uh, then we have class 10 if it is english language and literature it is 184 so depending upon the different exams you'll get the different codes printed on your omr answer sheet then you can see a sample name over here so same way your name will also be printed then your parents name that is your father's name then comes the school code and the name so all these areas will be pre-filled so it may look like this this is the area when you get the oima answer sheet make sure that it is filled like this then there is oima number this is also very important and on this particular area you have to enter the question paper code which will be printed in your question paper the question paper and the oima answer sheet will be issued by cbse so on this area you have to enter each particular day's question paper code number so make sure that the entry that you're making here there is no mistake at all then moving on and this is an area where you will be getting the facsimile stamp of the sender superintendent you don't have to do anything and look at 
in this particular area this is very very important you can see here some wrong methods of bubbling and the correct methods so when you look over here you can see all the bubbles here when you are bubbling it you have to make sure that all the whole bubble is completely darkened the whole circle is completely darkened all these methods like uh, putting a tick mark into mark and uh, partial filling and uh, double entries all these things are unaccepted these are all wrong methods so when you are making your entry your entry should be in this particular format now moving on to the bottom half of your cbsc omr answer sheet on a closer look you can find this particular omr answer sheet is somewhat different from the normal omr answer sheet so first of all let's find out what all things that we have here here starting from number one we have spaces for attending a total of 60 questions from starting from number one to 60 but then you have to understand that according to your subjects the total number of questions that you have to attend may vary for example in some subjects you have to attend only 40 questions in some subjects you can attend 45 in some other subjects like english you have to attend 50 questions out of the given 60 so whatever is your subject you don't have to worry you will have a space for attending a total of 60 questions but then look at the circles where we can enter the response here is the area where you can enter the response you can see this question number given on this side then we have the response uh, circles uh, a b c d like that then we have an extra box over here after the given options and this is the most important part in our exam this area has to be dealt with a lot of care and afterwards you can see here once again the serial number of the questions so when you start answering there are certain points that you have to keep in your mind so we can start here say i'm attending question number two and my option is b so as usual we can bubble it over here and uh, then uh, question number three if my option is d i can i can circle it over here then question number four if my answer is a i can bubble it over here so this is the way a conventional omr answer sheet is entered but then here we can see we have an extra box so what is the purpose of this box that is what we have to understand and this is the most important box and in this box you are supposed to write the alphabet which you have chosen here that is your correct options alphabet should be written over here i'll show you how it is done for example if your option for the question number two is b then you can write b over there then here on the third question you can write d because that is your option over there so this is what you are expected to do here on question number four here you have bubbled a so your option is a so you can enter a over there so this is the purpose of this final box so as per your entries you have to put the alphabets over here in this box which is very very important and uh, why this box is very important this is a latest addition by cbse to help the students suppose if you are marking b on here for question number two and uh, maybe after analyzing you may get a feeling that okay b is not correct then you'll get an extra opportunity here on this box whatever you are writing will be final if you feel that here the correct answer is not b then after analyzing you can change your answer here right now you can see i have changed this b onto d here the same way here also the option i have darkened is d but on a later analysis i felt that the correct option is a in that sense i can make changes over here but then when you are doing this you have to be extremely careful one thing that you have to keep in your mind is that what you enter in this box is going to be evaluated that is your final answer that means you can write something and you can erase it and you can write another alternative response that's not possible first you can fill all these blank spaces and on this box you can analyze your answer once again and if you are sure that whatever your bubble is correct you can make the same entry here and in case if you feel that you need to alter a response then while you're entering over here you can make the corrections okay so this is what uh, latest addition by cbse which 
is very beneficial for the students so what you write on this box will be your final answer that is what you have to understand okay so as a student always remember what you write on the box is the most important thing because when your paper your OMR answer sheet is evaluated marks will be issued based on your response on this box the marks are not given according to what you bubble so when you are entering your answers there are certain things that you have to keep in your mind first you have to bubble your correct option then on this particular column you have to write the corresponding alphabet so if you have not entered say an alphabet over here then your answer will not be evaluated so that is the most important aspect of cbse term 1 omr examination usually the children used to bubble the circles but then there is no need for entering a box for the normal exams but this time this particular box is the vital one whatever you are bubbling here on your OMR answer sheet the corresponding alphabet should be entered in this box because what you write on the box children remember that will be the final answer and an additional feature is that even if you bubble the wrong option while you are writing here on the box you have a second chance to change your option so once you write you can't strike it out once you write that will be permanent so even if you attend this particular bubbles over here and you leave this column blank then your answer will not be evaluated and suppose you don't bubble over here and you write the correct answer here then it will be treated as a valid response so that's also a very important feature and uh, suppose you don't bubble anything any response over here and also you leave this box blank then this particular question will be treated as unattempted i repeat if you don't bubble any circle and if if you don't enter anything in this box then this particular question will be treated as unattempted and hence no marks will be awarded so please remember that then comes another very important aspect of this OMR answer sheet that is once again here you can see the question numbers so what is the purpose of this question number this question number also serves a great purpose so here in the sample you can see i have attended question number two i have attended question number three i have attended question number four and uh, as we know that we have some extra questions from each section which there is no need for you to attend if you know already enough number of questions so you can leave certain questions blank unattended in such questions you are supposed to darken this bubble in case if you are not attending that question I'll show it once again. So you have attended question number two, you have attended question number three and question number four. And the fifth question, you don't want to attend. You want to leave it blank. In that case, you have to make sure that you bubble this area also. This is also very, very important. Suppose you're not attending question number six. Then also you have to repeat the same procedure. You have to bubble this question number six over here. So whatever marks that you're making over here, whatever entries that you're making over here, suggest that this question is not attended. Hence, these questions will not be evaluated. So all those extra questions which you don't want to attend, you have to make the markings on this particular area. So in every section, you can see the corresponding question numbers are repeated here. So here you can see question number 16, 16, 17, 17, 18, 18. Same way here also question number 40, 40, 41, 41. So here also on the last column, again, all these question numbers are repeated. So you are supposed to mark these areas if you leave that question unattended. So this is also a very important feature of CBSE's latest OMR answer sheet. So I hope now your doubts regarding how to enter your answers are clear. Now moving down, there is another very important area and that is this particular box which you can see over here. And in this box, there's a sentence already given here in printed letters. I confirm that all particulars given above are correct. And this sentence should be written on your handwriting on this box on this area over here you can write it in your handwriting so this is a vital area which you have to fill you should never forget to fill this area and on this particular area you can put your signature the candidate signature in running hand that means you're not supposed to make use of capital letters and uh, these areas should not be filled by you this is to be filled by the evaluator as you can see total number of correct answers and uh, total number of correct answers after verification by the coordinator and here this is the signature areas for the invigilator evaluator coordinator and the observer so these areas you are not supposed to attend your area 
comes up to this particular point where you have to put your signature. So these are the features of the latest CBSE OMR answer sheet. This is the answer sheet that you are going to get. Remember children, the answer sheet that you are getting will be pre-filled like this. So your duty is to do the verification. I can show you one blank answer sheet. It may look like this, but the one that you are going to get may look like this. Okay, it will be pre-filled. So the rest of the areas you have to fill. Hope you'll have a great time with the CBSC term 1 examination. Prepare very well, study very well and may all of you score great results. Thank you all for watching this video. We'll meet with yet another video soon. And once again, if you're new to our channel, please watch this video, like it and subscribe our channel. Thank you all. Thanks for watching. Please do subscribe to our channel.